I have been getting a lot of people telling me that it was, it was beautiful and all that stuff, but I did put it out in the public so people will have their own opinions about what is this and what is that or whatever. You know, some people, oh, it's tacky, oh, it's this, you know, it's, it's beautiful. Listen, if you girls <laughs> <laughs> only get grandeur when you go to hotel rooms on, on, on the 4th of July, <laughs> when you're visiting your family out of town, honey, for your family reunions, mm -hmm. or you get grandeur when you're going to hotel rooms, honey, when you are on Valentine's Day, if you only if you only get hints of grandeur <laughs> at times <laughs> like I have some college <laughs> if you only get hints of grandeur at times dear lord don't take that out on me because this is like what I like to surround myself with I love to be surrounded by grandeur I love color I love expensive things, not pocketbooks and shoes. If that's what y'all spend y'all money on, pocketbooks and shoes, and you come home to a futon or a <laughs> or a retractable couch, that's your we're not having the same type of conversation oh, yeah. when I am enjoying being surrounded by things of grandeur. Grandeur consists of black. Okay? As an African American people, I need you to understand that grandeur starts with black. Let's do this. Then it transitions into red and white, golds, mustards. All of these things are of grandeur. Now, if you like grays, <laughs> if you're grays and beiges and stuff like that, that's fine because you have to get your, because I shop here too. You have to get your at-home pictures and your old-time pottery pictures to put on your wall. Or you have to get your... If you don't thrift... I'm a thrift shopper because I like things that have, that have, that have aged and have value on it that have withstand the test of time. If you're buying this furniture that was built in 24 hours and it tears up... And <laughs> no, I'm just being real. And you have to get this furniture every year from rooms to go because they they put you on a financing plan that if you that, that, that you don't there'll be no interest on your furniture for 12 months because they know that after 12 months you'll be back down there buying another furniture because you've went down there to the rooms to go. Girl, so if you if these are things that you are not used to, hush. It's it's okay for you to see something outside of, you know, the things. <laughs> Somebody said plywood. It's just what it is, Craig. You know, you know. And when I throw the when I throw the things back at y'all, don't get angry with me and tell me to humble myself. <laughs> <laughs> because they love to tell me to humble yourself. God can give it to you, took it away. But this is what you're y'all have really been for years. For those who have been using that statement, y'all have been waiting for God to take it away from me for years and he's only been multiplying it for me. <laughs> Somebody said in a peaceful rental center. <laughs> Why? So, I mean, and it's, and I'm not shading anybody because I was a girl at one point in my life when I was in the shoes that you're walking in now. Uh-uh. I was uh -uh. a girl of, you know, rent a center. I was a girl of, of, of trying to pay my furniture off. I was a girl of those things. I'm not that girl no more. And so I just post the things of, of what I like. But when y'all come for me, y'all turn me into reminding myself of, of what I used to be. And maybe when I used to be that way, I felt that way about people who surrounded themselves in grandeur. Mm -hmm. And so I acted out. So some of you are acting out. Aaron's. <laughs> Aaron's. <laughs> some of you are acting out. And it's okay. But when I return the acting out, I need you to sit in that and allow me to just go ahead on like you were picking me apart to get your pickings. Now, this is a great segue, is it not? Oh uh, yeah. Speaking of picking apart and, you know, I do have on my green dress. Mm. So it, it might be that type of day. Recently, Deficit K sat down with Pierre on his show. And of all the things they could have talked about and all the people and places and stuff that they could have talked about, he decided, well, they decided to talk, have this conversation. Put it up there. Come okay. on. So that we know. They decided to have this conversation about why I am not, I don't like, uh, why we have pressure with each other, this and the other. And because she's a liar and the liar that she is, she sat on that sofa with those 
freshly bought titties. You see that? <laughs> do you see those freshly bought titties? With their, with, do, is it not licking, making her show? Aren't our shoulders kind of looking the same? You see, she has that huge upper body. Like she has on a, a waist shaper and it just sucked her up. And she had this huge upper body with this small head with those Beijing waves tatted on the top of her skull. And so she sat there on that sofa and with this, what possessed her to put this sweater dress on, <laughs> swollen like this? For the love of God, ever since I've known Deficit K, I've known her to be a slim woman. Now she's over here. And one thing I've learned about people that feel some type of way about you, uh -huh. as much as they read you, they admire you. So she's been over there swelling herself up to somewhat similarize herself like the TS. Over there swollen <laughs> in that turtleneck dress <laughs> with those Beijing ocean waves sitting over here on top of her head with those dentine white ice chip teeth in her mouth dear lord and when i look at this person i look at this person and i look at this person from the perspective of a person that has sat around just like when they love to call on kaya because they love to call kaya's name when they having something about me. what are we doing most the mic moving around no 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 i'm just checking something real quick okay when when we sit here and we look at this person, they're just like Kaya used to read everybody walking and then went out there and instead of fixing her mouth, she got her ass pumped. And so instead of paying Cardi B, she has went out, bought teeth, titties, an ass. And these are the same people that sit around and talk about people the way they look and, and talk about the, the, the girls. No, don't move it. No, we're talking about this person. <laughs> talking about the girls, the way they look and all this stuff. And then they go right out there in the world and they start to completely imitate them, right? Uh -huh. Now, I'd like to let this sit here for a moment because I'm gonna play excerpts from it because we're, there are things that we're gonna dissect here at the top of the show. Okay. Because it's important that we dissect this stuff at the top of the show. Hold on, please. Alrighty. Okay. Um, I don't know if it'll play on here. Mo, could you do me a... Oh, here it is. Let's see if it's going to roll. Uh, here. Here's what, here's what was said. T.S. Madison. Well, I was. She's been trying to say I was trying to pull it. Like, I'm like, bitch, I sat in your house. That nasty ass house. Uh, I ain't never say nothing. She had the move. It was so nasty. I, okay, maybe, uh, maybe, damn, maybe I wasn't in that house before. Okay. Can we pause? <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to pause and go through this. Okay. I really need to watch this on YouTube. Let me go on YouTube because I'd like to pause. Pull this picture down. Okay. I'd actually like to pause and go through this because this is probably going to be one of the many times that I, I pull her card up. You said one of the many times? Yes, because we, we're going to drag each other until there's no more time left on her. <laughs> so let me go on YouTube. I hope you all got time because I do. <laughs> And I wanted to come to y'all in a place of, because I'm not angry about it. I just really sit and watch how these people, uh, you know, sit here and they they make these stories. stories up. Hold on. Here we go. All right. So here we go. No, no. Hold on. No, cut out. So keep on. Have a good time. Talk to him all the shit you want. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. I got a fit. When I was sitting Here we go. Did not. And he's a drug dealer, and I'm not a drug dealer. There we dealer. go. To my viewers to cover her. So now I'm sure. transphobic? But yeah, what was I transphobic? Know. When I was sitting in your house doing your right. shows, help. There we go. But yeah, what was I trans? Here we go. Let's go here. Before that, you know, I never that. go to But if I go to a transgender house, I'll say I'm transgender now. now. So because it. Pierre is my friend, you know, he's all, and Pierre, and most you, Mo, is a straight man, you know, these 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 insecure women, because this is definitely insecure women, you can tell by how she went out and talked about all those women and then started adding all these things. Mm -hmm. Those are insecurities, right? So let's go. This insecure woman sat here with this man, and she she, she spoke on uh, uh, me saying that she was transphobic. The internet is still here, is it? Is it not? Yes. Are we not on the internet right now? Yes, we are. I pay somebody out there right now one hundred dollars per video. I'll say this again. 
I'll pay someone right now $100 per video that they find of me saying or telling y'all that Tasha K was transphobic. Hello? I'll pay someone out there right now $100 per video for hearing me come out of my mouth and say that Tasha K was transphobic because I've never said that Tasha K was transphobic. I said Tasha K is a puss ass hoe. I said she's a foot dragging dirty bitch. I say she has a faggot ass motherfucking husband. I say she has retarded kids. <laughs> I say, bitch, that her motherfucking, uh, that, that she a puss ass hoe again. She's a fuck nigga. These are the things that I've said about her that you can go back and you can nap in that. These are all the things that I've said about this person. So when you really go forth and you start dissecting things like we're going to do for this moment, we're going to sit on her for a moment because okay. these girls like to take my name and make coins off of them. I'm about to, re I'm about to return the, the favor. So when we sat there and we, we, we listened to this and I, and I looked at it from the space of it, I'm like, so let's talk about what I've said about you. I've called you. I've not called you. I've never said that you were transphobic. Not once have I sat my fat ass in this chair and said that, that this person was transphobic. You said not the babies. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't give a fuck about her children. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't give a fuck about her husband. I don't care anything about them. And if y'all if y'all feel some type of way, the door is there because I'm 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 not I'm gonna go in the way that I know how. And for this bitch to sit up here and say that there's there's I don't have any wordplay for her, Miss Thing. You don't rap, girl. You were you. The only thing that you're wrapped you're wrapped up in a deficit and bills and lawsuits. That's what you're wrapped up in, girl. And this is where your focus should be. The transsexual didn't do anything to you. When when the stories came out about this individual, Maddie Mob, as long as y'all been with me, y'all been with me a long time, y'all know we never even covered that nigga. We never covered her. Y'all would send me all types of things to my inbox and all this stuff about her. We never talked about Tasha K. We never, we never in one moment in our breath spoke about this nigga. We never did that. Did we not, Mo? You were there. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's I'm true. in a calm space talking about this because it's that's like true. we, we got to dissect the thing for what it is. I want y'all to, to call a thing a thing, right? And, and the thing is, she can't take me. That's what, it, and that's what it's <clears throat> always been. But she's tried to mask it under, I'm your friend. And, and it is, and we're just calling a thing a thing, right? So you sit there on, on people's platform and you say, I said this, and the reason why we are where we are is because I called you transphobic. I've ne that's, those are not words that were ever stood, uttered from my mouth. Nappy neck, dirty, foot dragging. Puss ass motherfucking hoe, fuck nigga, bitch ass hoe, faggot having husband having ass bitch. These are things that I've said about you because we can go find those videos. But if you find the video of me saying that she was transphobic, I'll give you $100 per video. $100 per video that you find. Find it. Okay? Um... Imagine sitting on Pierre's sofa thinking that you're serving me like a waitress because that's what you're going to end up being by the time all of this is over. <laughs> thinking that you're serving me like a waitress and he calls you Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> he calls you Kenneth and tells you to pull your turtleneck down because he needs to check your Adam's apple. Oh, wow. Imagine that. Um, just sit and imagine that you go on a man's podcast, bitch, to, to drag a tranny, a trainee, and he drags you for being a trainee. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to really wear her out because the the joke wore her set, wore itself. The joke wore itself. And then here's it <laughs> to 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 ice the cake. She all, every time she's she's talked about me. She loves to bring people like she had Messy C over there. Oh, M Madison's house was nasty. Messy C, that's it. That's, that's not my experience. That was not my experience at Madison's house. Madison's house was nasty when I went over there. Other people she done sat down with, oh, did her, did her house was nasty. And that wasn't her experience either. Now, 
she talks about how she couldn't put her baby down. No, bitch, you couldn't put your baby down because you have been drinking so much in your life and you have <laughs> cirrhosis of the motherfucking liver, bitch, that you birthed a baby whose eyes do all like this. And the reason why you couldn't put your baby down is because your baby wouldn't know where to walk around in a motherfucking circle, bitch, or he'd have been running into the wall with that shitty ass pamper that he had on. That my mama was clapping at him. Sit, hey, sit. Imagine sitting over there telling me or telling Pierre that I had to move because my house was so filthy. No, sweetie, I moved because I'm rich and I bought a new home and I still own this home. I moved. Let us talk about why you moved. Can we talk about why you moved? You moved because you're a liar. You're a pathological liar and you wrap your business and your whole uh, funding into lies and so therefore you had to move and you had to move into an apartment complex where you're now paying rent now somebody's over there renting out that house but the moment that it comes for sale because it will i'm gonna buy it and knock the bitch down <laughs> but my thing is when i really sit and look at you i look at you from a, a miserable person that spoke from your mouth and said I'm a real woman talking about a tranny now because I, I, I stand on me being a transsexual. I'm a real woman. But what has your real woman pussy done for you? You 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 have funny looking kids. You've birthed funny looking children. You have a soft ass motherfucking husband, bitch, that uh, obviously the reason why Pierre sees you as Kenneth, not just because you you probably was trying to cover up your Adam's apple, nigga. It's because what real nigga going to fuck with you? Since you want to talk about me not having no nigga, what real nigga going to fuck with you? You had to go out there and get you an African. Because what real nigga going to fuck with you having him in debt? A real nigga. Wait, what does that mean? Then? No, she had, because you know y'all are very passive when it comes to American women, honey. He, pro pro he probably married that bitch for his green card. <laughs> but <laughs> what real nigga is going to motherfucking marry you? <laughs> Because clearly in this whole relationship, nigga, we can tell that you wear the pants in it. We can tell whose dick is the biggest in that house. And Tasha K, it's yours. Your dick is bigger than, your, than Shaq's. Because this man has allowed you to walk all over him. He's allowed you to get him in debt. He's allowed you to motherfucking have his bank records and all of his financial information plastered all over the internet. We can tell that he is he is beta and you are alpha in that house. But in this house, sir, bitch, you have no power in motherfucking here. There is nothing that you have on your body, your pussy, your your teeth, your titties, your looks. There's nothing that's on you that I am. I am. I'm not jealous of your career. I don't care anything about you. There's nothing that your pussy has gotten you, bitch, that my titties at the top and dick at the bottom has has gotten that has surpassed you. So clearly we know what the problem is. The problem is I'm a woman and I can't take this transsexual. This transsexual who stands in she's fat, who stands in that she's loud, who stands in that she's black. Who stands in, bitch, that she is has titties at the top, dick at the bottom? Who stands in, bitch, that you can call her trainee and all that other type of stuff, but she's going to capitalize off of it? That's what the real issue is, because you put yourself in Jess's shoes because Jess was having an issue with the trans community and, and you wanted to set foot over there for clickbait because quiet as it's kept, you don't like women, you don't like black women. You're just pandering to them right now because it's gonna it's trying to help you pay your bills. And so you use the fallback on a tranny, you know, cause who who a lot of the women like yourself has issues with, and you're trying to help that go to your app to pay your bills. We've clocked you a long time ago. Not only have we clocked you for what you are, but also we've clocked you for who you are. And who you are is a scumbag. Who you are is a worthless. Low down, again, foot dragging, nappy neck, dirty, cirrhosis of the liver with a drunk pussy giving birth to motherfucking ill looking ass fucking kids, bitch, woman. 
that I, the TS, have no jealous streak in my heart towards at all because you you are you have nothing, you are nothing, and your pussy is absolutely nothing, bitch, and it is worthless to you. So what the fuck would I be jealous of you for having one? And the reason why you get those women to to back you up is because you represent them because they are the same. See, you haven't surpassed me. Don't think because you have a, a husband out loud that you've surpassed me. Or don't think that because you have children that you've surpassed me. Or don't even think that you sitting on that motherfucking dishwater, dirty ass pussy that you got has surpassed me. Because, sweetheart, you have not. Because you sat on a sofa thinking that you were going to serve me to a man that is my friend. And he turned around and showed you exactly what transphobia looks like. By the time you left that interview, your new name was Kenneth. <laughs> and from this day forth, ma'am, sir, <laughs> you will be deficit Kenneth K. Wait, you when said excuse we, me, what? Ma'am, sir, <laughs> you will be deficit Kenneth K when we address you. Oh, my God. <laughs> ma'am, sir, okay. <laughs> you can't suck this dick. You barely can suck the dick your husband got, bitch. And I told you, I'm just waiting on them to lock you up so your children can really be raised by the man that he needs to be with. Because obviously, bitch, the man that you are portraying to be up under that skirt, bitch, we can tell whose dick is the biggest in that house. Because there's no way a real alpha man would have you having him in all of those situations. So we know what you are. Come on out. We'd love you the same. Anyway, I'm done until you tap on my door again because you always love to tap on my door. I don't even be thinking about you, nigga, at all. But you love to tap on my door because it does something for you. It makes your pussy wet or it could make your dick hard. Who knows? <laughs> we don't know. But again, I will pay $100 for each video that y'all find of me saying that Tasha K was transphobic. That's your task for the motherfucking week. Find it. <laughs>